let's begin Aries shall we and we do have the three of cups and the nine of pentacles you are single and you want to reunite with somebody you want to share the love with somebody come together reconcile be on speaking terms again having um, you know a friendly vibe between you and this person and even a marriage for a want joy stability and happiness i love this can be somebody else actually bringing that to the table a reconciliation with joy and stability eight of cups somebody moved on emotionally right and now we want them back or they want to come back you know and that's all right because they thought about it so um overall energy um aries we do have the wheel of fortune this is flow in this deck and we have the ace of cups and we are overflowing with love over here um it's positive changes again in love for some of you and we do have the chariot and the two of cups oh yeah we are moving towards love um cancer energy and you have ace of cups two of cups so if this is doesn't if this one doesn't scream reconciliation three of cups love and soulmate i i, I wonder what does um and we have positive changes and we do have success and moving forward and for some of you moving from a current situation into love is the only option because it's the overall energy right so you are love there is all that to say that is a lot of love that you are surrounded with So Aries, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And um, we have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and they have three, and your mutual energies, the energies between you and this person. The outcome. For the end of February on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And two of swords, refusing to see. So Aries, there is there are tons of love there is tons of love in this, but somebody is blindfolded and not looking in the right direction. Okay. Just so you know, that is a message here. Um, that is the, the Wheel of Fortune and we know in uh, readings and love readings and in general it is about the universe, right? And going with the flow, it's the law of vibrations, you know, the universe is sending out vibes and um, you just have to go with it and not resist. Um, and actually, right, you might be resisting some love that is sent to you as a gift because you just don't see it, you are blindfolded right now. Now, Aries, in the past, you and this person, so on your side, we do have the Nine of Cups. So they were, he or she, whoever you are um, dealing with, they were your dreams coming true. This is wish fulfillment. This is longing for somebody. This is after fighting and doing the necessary work, you got them. And when you got them, they were like your dreams, like your, your star that you followed. And probably... Um, when you finally thought you got them, there was some rejection here. We do have the five of pentacles. We have feeling alone and being a little bit out in the woods, in the nature, by yourself, longing for this person. Probably there was no communication either. Five of pentacles is an energy of, I don't want to see you anymore kind of energy. You know, I don't want to ever speak to you again. Um, and yet there was so much happiness, right? And there was, um, or a possibility of, and there was um, so much um, uh, emotional investment in this connection that you had with this person. Now, the person you are dealing with might be a Leo. We do have the strength card and we have the magician. Yeah, you are loved. They were taming themselves, um, Aries. They were on their best behavior, maybe not showing, no, not exhibiting a lot of emotions maybe somebody was somehow constrained or restrained or there was something confined in their own mind um or god knows in what situation and yet they manifested this the connection with you the relationship with you this is them committing committed to uh, bring some magic into the connection that you guys had and yet having to tame themselves 
of course the strength is a card of lust if you are wondering if they were attracted to you well this uh, speaks a volume of um, you know chemistry and pleasure and attraction and passion and physical um, you know um, uh, calling if I can call it like this right mutual energies between you and this person we have your darkest fears and their darkest fears so somehow they were probably both of you you are afraid of um, a deep connection uh, we do have the nine of swords with the six of cups right um, like being afraid of this soulmate bond of the, of the strength of this bond um and somehow somehow maybe because of children we have children in the card then this combination of cards speaks of you know six of cups is a card in energy of children maybe somebody was afraid to get so deep into this commitment and at some point somebody right spread your wings and um you know uh like uh went away in in, in some uh, shape or form um and it's interesting because it is between the two of you, Aries, and it does look like somebody is a little bit, um, you know, um, how should I uh, put it? One was very tamed and the other one, um, you know, was emotion emotionally excited. But, but then, right, then there was this fear of, and maybe this connection was stopped even uh, before really was able to take off. Um, but there was love in it. We just started the reading and we have two soulmate cards, two of cups and the six of cups. So there was love, there were emotions, a lot of manifestation, a lot of um, you are the one, I feel the bond, I know the bond, but I got scared of the bond. Okay. Um, well, right now, Aries, we do have the tower moment. We are rebuilding. And we might be a little bit lost here. Uh, we do have Pisces energy. So again, might be a Pisces who uh, brought a tower moment upon, upon you. But now we are putting the pieces together. We are after the uh, the aftermath, right? Of a, of a deep tower moment. A little bit shook, right? That's the moon. A little bit, um, you know, maybe uh, in need to watch a little bit, um, you know, your mental health, mental balance your habits and however you uh, rebuild right now, right? Because it might, there is an indication here a little bit that of a need to keep an eye on your own balance, right? For some of you, you really need to confront something or maybe somebody we do have confront and really um, claim, right? Claim your time of, um, you know, of um, rebuilding, your your time of redoing of, of a redo of your life right because uh your world came crumbling down um and i'm kind of sensing aries that um you had this right it it was not you deciding you know what i'm going to walk away even if i have the energy of crossroads for both of you so you are right now both of you at crossroads but I feel it's more painful for you because you invested so so much emotion in this and and you saw them like wow like the magician right now the person you are dealing with I tend to believe they are a Leo because you do have the Sun card so maybe a Leo um, the star card the hill card and the two of swords so um, they might be blindfolded and we have it in the overall energy and we have on on the energy on their side so they might be blindfolded right now but the reason is very simple somebody here is healing we do have the heal card and we have this the shine card major transformation aries somebody is going through a major awakening uh you are their wish fulfillment if that was your question and um the sun is all about the truth, awakening, awareness, and illumination. So somebody is, I mean, shook by what happened, but in a very spiritual, elevated way. I'm still looking for wish fulfillment. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> still, still looking for wish fulfillment, but it's this two of swords. Um, it's like that is just as much that they can see you know in a sense that is a very limited 
sight of or vision or understanding of what happened um, because I it does feel um, areas that somebody uh, fell from high skies kind of because we do have the strength and we have the magician the magician is feeling the power feeling the change uh, being in charge having the tools feeling confident about it right that's the magician and manifestation visualizations and and something happened at our moment happened I don't know exactly because even on their side they are healing they are hurt just as much so somebody brought the tower moment upon you but they also fell from high skies kind of and in the process they are awakening they are healing they are taking care of themselves and they might be blindfolded right now they might be refusing to look the situation right into the eyes and see and understand what's going on again aquarius leo energy mutual energies between the two of you aries you both have regrets we do have the uh, five of cups you both miss each other this is um, I almost died missing you and you both want reconciliation with the three of cups share the love you both want to change your focus not on what was or what is right now because we are going through a tower moment but also change um, your focus on love reconciliation sharing the emotions coming back together being friends again this is three of cups is um, a very happy exciting time with friends also so um this love is not lost um aries not at all actually um this love is still strong actually this love is still very strong and healing well, the outcome, Aries, we do have you with the nine of wands, so I don't know if you want to block them or you fight your need and urge to block them. We do have five of swords and we have nine of wands. So whatever fight you think you want to have or you want to start a conversation that might end up, you do get here the message of rest and reconsider, right? And of course, it speaks of... Um, of hurt we are still hurt by whatever conflict was whatever fighting whatever uh, somebody taking advantage or you feeling that they took advantage of you well the main advice would be here you know let's look at all the angles because maybe we are refusing to see something here and maybe that is an information that we don't see just yet because everything happened quickly the tower is a sudden energy the chariot is breaking free and this is kind of the energy of somebody going out for milk and never coming back kind of energy, you know. And I know it sounds like a joke, but you, you get my point, right? They never um, came back. It's an, it's like an impulsive uh, gesture and somebody probably that was following a fight that somebody just fled the premises, right? And decided, you know what, I'm out, kind of. Uh, but yet, look at the love here. Look at all the cups here. Um, so yeah, and look how perseverant they are. They are even, they are healing right now, Aries. We have the heal card and now we have the six of swords. Healing begins and peace of mind. And again, they have this energy of bringing you their heart. So somebody wants to give you their heart, um, um, Aries. This is again, let's be friends. Let's have a conversation. Let's go out for drinks. Let's spend some time together and this is for my own peace of mind right because they want you they want to share emotions and happiness and that um, you know overflowing love because that is the first um energies out the wheel of fortune and the ace of cups and mutual energies look how they love you aries we have your energy the emperor and the ace of pentacles strengthening bonds so yeah this is the outcome actually strengthening bonds with the person that you love and um the person you are dealing with they have your energy all over them somebody also will take charge and i kind of sense this is you aries we do have the lead card but in the same time can very well be the person you are dealing with and they are taking the lead manifesting your own energy of the emperor and strengthening bonds towards the end of february and it's such a beautiful energy and this reading is screaming love Aries this it's all over the place it is just all over the place so 
So in terms of zodiac signs, um, Aries, you do have Cancer energy. What else? You do have Leo. We have Pisces. We have Aquarius. We have Leo again and Aries. Maybe you are dealing with another Aries over here. Good. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we are supposed to do with this connection. And we have three of pentacles. This is the card of partnership and working together. So your passions will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything that is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Yeah, it is a business um, um, advice and energy, but in the same time, it's the card of partnership and building a life together. So as a love reading, I mean, I do believe it's quite connected. We do have the death card. This is letting go, right? So we need to let go of the past. Releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. So transformation. Such an amazing, such an amazing energy. And we have choose freedom. This is the devil. You have the death, Scorpio energy, and now you have the devil, um, Capricorn energy. So Aries, we let go and we choose freedom. Sometimes you feel as though you may your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Um, Aries, let go, choose freedom, and now you have six of wands, bottom of the deck. This is about success. So what a, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing um, awards, promotions, or other recognition for, for your efforts. Well then, if someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Um, it is we ask for guidance and we got to let go, choose freedom, partnership and victory. So, right? What do you think? How do you receive this? Now let's ask for manifestation energies. Let's see what we need to manifest for the end of the month. And you know how manifestation works, right? It's kind of like a mantra and you repeat it and you say it to yourself till it takes form in your life. So we have action. I have the courage to express the unique loving colors of my soul. I have the courage to express the unique loving colors of my soul. So you need to speak up, right? You need to manifest actually speaking up. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So I don't put blame on people. I am the only one responsible. And self-love. Oh my God. So you forgot to love yourself, Aries, in this. I realize that love of self is necessary to love another. I realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Bottom of the deck, we have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. That is denial. I don't know if this applies, but I love the courage because you also have the strength, which is a card of courage. So I find, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Beautiful. We need to manifest courage, actually, uh, Aries. This is what the universe is telling you, right? We need to be courageous about something. And I believe um, we kind of see it, letting go and choosing freedom. Now, my beautiful Aries, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.